Hey everyone, welcome from Northern Michigan again. Here to talk about my interior light solution. I'm just as guilty as everyone else where I've tried many different routes to avoid running wires or save a couple bucks. So I've tried the battery operated lights and whatever else might be out there. And they work, but they never really put out enough light. And when you need them, the battery seems to be dead. So I finally got around to uh, working on a real wired solution and I've come up with something that works pretty well doesn't cost that much money and I'm going to show it to you tonight so what I have or what I've gone with are these Eagle Eye LEDs that I purchased from Amazon and that's an adventure all in itself because there are a bunch of these out there and some of them are really cheap and learned the hard way that the uh, super cheap ones are not the way to go but these are not too bad a little under two dollars each they came in a pack of six i think they're more more uh, i think there are more combinations now i think you get eight or twelve whatever it might be and the big difference i found between these lights is right here where these wires come in the cheaper ones i had they didn't have anything in here the wires are just loose and i actually had one short out in my in my hand while i was testing on the battery and uh, it was quite painful burned a line in my thumb but these right here work out pretty well haven't had any failures yet, and I'll post the uh, the link down in the comments section of this video. So I use these, and I think you see one, two, three, four, five of them here in the interior, and I'll show them to you in a minute. I'm actually lighting up this video with the interior lights right now. What I use to mount a couple of them, and I really like these as well, these Tusk flag mounts. These are 10 bucks each, and I use these things all over the place. They're, uh, they're aluminum, they're solid, you know, 10 bucks. You buy them for your diameter of bar, and depending on the bar that you have, they'll come with some rubber inserts here to make up the slack, and you can get them with a horizontal mount, vertical mount, or adjustable. Not a big fan of the adjustable. I mean, they're okay in theory, but they do tend to loosen up over time. So 10 bucks each, I have two of these, and, uh, to show you my lights where I've mounted them. The first one is down here in the floorboard and it lights up really well down there that you can see. The second one I put in is here in the glove box. Again, lights it up really well. In fact, we have no problem with lighting in here now. We can see everything all the time. The uh, third one I put in is here. The fourth one is here. Sorry if that's blinding you. And then this one down by my floorboard which I have sitting on the seat right now so can't show you that one uh, it's really hard to see mounted that one to the wraps right above the seat you can see the tusk mount and how well that works out the light fits in there perfectly put another one right here and then the fifth light is on my floorboard but I actually have that out right now and sitting on the seat right here to show you. So that was my solution for interior lights. Um, I'm gonna show you a picture of how well it's lit up from the outside. And uh, again, I'm shooting this whole thing with the lights right now. So kind of look around in here. Everything's lit up well. You can even see outside a little bit. Hope this video helps you out. If you have any questions, post them in the comments. And once again, I will post all of the links with prices and comments. Thank you for watching.